Hello. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the rank.eq function in Excel 2010. For this video, we'll be using the golf scores data set. Once your data is cleaned and formatted for analysis, you may want to make some relative comparisons or find out how each value compares to the rest of the group. The easiest relative comparison to make is a simple ranking of values from highest to lowest or vice versa. The rank.eq function allows you to find out how a particular value ranks in a reference list of data. Importantly, if there are multiple cells with the same value, rank.eq gives each the same rank, which will be the position closest to 1. The rank.eq function takes the following form. Enter the function name rank.eq. Then, inside the parentheses are three arguments. The number is the cell reference to the number you want ranked. Ref is the reference distribution you want the number compared to. In other words, we want to know what rank does the number occupy in the reference list. Be careful when specifying the ref argument since this will often need to be an absolute reference. The last argument is order. This argument is optional. If omitted or set to zero, Excel ranks the values assuming that the largest value is ranked first, the next value below the largest would be ranked second, and so on. If order is set to one, then Excel ranks the values assuming that the smallest or lowest value is ranked one, the next value above the smallest would be ranked two, and so on. Let's begin by ranking the scores of several golfers in the Professional Golf League Championship Series. For right now, we'll only rank the first 10 player scores. Click on cell I2 and enter the header Rank. Now, in cell I3, enter the following formula. Equal sign rank.eq, open parentheses, h3, comma, h3 to h12, and we'll make this an absolute reference with respect to rows, close parentheses. Now copy this formula down to cell I12. You can see that Excel has ranked the players in descending order, so that the player with the highest score is number 1, and the player with the lowest score is 10th. You can also see that there are several players with the same score. All of these players are given the same rank. In this case, there are four players with rank of 5, since the first player with a score of 284 was in the fifth position from first. In other words, there's a four-way tie for fifth place. We see the same thing happen with the four players with the highest score of 285. These four players are in a four-way tie for first, and Excel has ranked them all with a one. So far, so good. But in golf, lower scores are better, so our rankings are really the reverse of what we want. The player scoring 276 should be in first place and all others should be in second or below. Click on cell J2 and enter the header rank-a for ascending order. Now in cell J3 enter the following formula equals rank.eq open parentheses h3 comma h3 to h74 We'll make this an absolute reference with respect to rows again, comma, one, close parentheses. Adding the optional argument for order set to one will rank the scores in ascending order, with the lowest score being first. Now copy this formula down to cell J12. You can see now that the player with the lowest score is first, and we have four-way ties for third and seventh position. 
This has been an example of using the rank.eq function in Microsoft Excel. I'll see you in the next video.